What is up guys, it's Nick here and today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Packet Events API, which is a very lightweight packet listener and sender made by Retrooper. It supports all Minecraft versions from 1.7.10 all the way to the latest one and it's also getting frequent updates with new features and improvements, so that's very nice. So let's get started. And what do we need to do, you know, before we actually use the, the API and listen for packets and so on? Well, the first thing you got to do uh, is actually set it up. So let's go to the settings. So packet events dot get settings and set identifier. This is very important. So what is the identifier? Well, the identifier basically it has to be unique and it has to be something that you know represents usually your plugin because if there's two plugins on the same server and they're both using this API and they both have the same identifier, it's going to cause a lot of issues and errors and we don't want that. So let's name it something like test plugin packet handler or something. So now that we, now that we have that, we need to do three more methods. It's packet events that load. This is basically a load method that prepares the, the API and packet events that start it takes the parameter which is the plugin and note that we have to call the settings and the load method just before the start method so this has to be the last one and now you know you usually want to have this load method on your own enable but it's better to have it on your on load method so we do public void on load, oops, on load. So that's better. <laughs> and on disable, we do target events dot stop. No, 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 let's start, don't start again, we do stop. All right, good. So now we're practically done. All right, so Nick, how do we listen for a packet? Well, it's quite simple. Uh, first, you want to implement packet listener, and let's you know for the sake of this tutorial, we're just gonna keep everything in the main class because it doesn't really matter. So we do annotation packet handler, just like you do your bucket event handler, and we do public void and let's name it on packet receive packet receive event. So we're going to use this to listen for packets. <clears throat> well, okay. Now that we have that, how do we how do we get a packet and how do we do stuff with a specific packet? Well, it's quite simple. Let's do if e dot get packet id, or you can get the name, but we're just going to get the packet id uh, equals packet type. Dot and as you can see, we can get the packet type from both the client and the server, but we're we're just going to use client for now. And client dot uh, and as you can see, these are all the packets that you can listen for. And let's just use chat, which is quite simple. So if the packet is chat, well, what do we do now? There's nothing to do, right? Well, no. Now, if we want to actually play around with the packet and do stuff and modify it, we do wrapped packet play, wait, no, yeah, wrap packet play in chat, oh, let's name it packet equals new wrapped packet play in chat, and we do e dot get nms packet, so we're getting this packet as an nms object. And now, with this, we can actually modify the packet and we can get the message and we can do whatever we want. So what should we do with it? Let's so do if packet dot get a message um, contains let's do I don't know high packet. So if the message contains high packet let's actually go ahead and send a packet to the player. First let's cancel it. So that's cancelled and all right how do we send a packet to the player? Well, it's quite simple. We do wrapped packet, and we, we basically specify the packet that we want to send to the player. 
So let's do wrapped packet uh, entity velocity. Yeah, that's the one. And let's name it velocity packet packet equals new uh, velocity and e dot get player. So it, of course the player is a parameter and then the velocity that we want to give him. So let's do zero, ten, and zero. So it's basically the x, y, and z values. So now that we have that ready, how do we send this packet to the player? Well, it's quite simple. You do packet events get API get player utils send packet and the player and then the packet that we want to send to the player. So we're just going to use velocity packet. So now, well, actually, no, let's send him a message too. Let's see, we do get player send message. Um, goodbye or something. I don't know. <laughs> and so yeah, now that we're done and we have this ready to go, we have to actually register the listener. So for our case, we implement listener on this class. So if you want to uh, set it up, we do packet events, get API, get event manager, register listener, and this. And this is a class that we implement listener on. So let's actually go ahead and test out what, what this does. So we are now on our test server and let's actually see what we did. So let's do high packet. Oh shit. All right. Um, <laughs> that's more velocity than I expected. Oh, hey, what's up? Yeah. So it worked. As you can see, it canceled our message. There's no message here. And don't see that. I died from a zombie before. That has nothing to do with the plugin. And it canceled our message. It sent us goodbye. And then it sent us to the air. So let's actually go ahead and try to do some other things with the API. Now, let's try to do something different. Let's make another method. And let's do packet handler again. And let's do on packet uh, send. And this time we're gonna listen to the packet send event. So let's try to listen for a server packet now. Let's do if e get packet ID equals packet type server. Oops, server. And let's look for the oh server difficulty all right so let's listen for the packet that gets triggered each time the server difficulty changes so let's do so if the difficulty changes we do i don't know this get server broadcast message and something like difficulty changed woohoo all right whatever <laughs> and there's another, uh, this API has a few custom events. And just for an example, we're going to use the, uh, the inject event. I'm going to show you right now. Let's do on, oops, on inject. Let's do player inject event. And as you can see, that's an event that gets triggered every time a player gets injected uh, into the API. So, you know, it can listen for, the packets that the player receives or sends. So when the player gets injected, let's do this dot get server. No, actually no. Let's send him a message. Let's do d dot get player send message. You have been injected. <laughs> okay. So yeah, let's go ahead and try it out. All right, so we have now joined the server, and as you can see, we got a message saying, uh, you have been injected. Ha ha ha, yeah. So let's actually try the difficulty thingy that we just made. So if we do slash difficulty, oops, difficulty peaceful, as you can see, we set the difficulty, and it said difficulty changed. Woohoo, yeah. So everything works. We are now able to listen to packets, modify packets, and even send packets. Let's do the, the velocity thing again. If we do high packet, yep, 
You see, everything works. So yeah, that's it for this video. I'm going to have the API speaker page and GitHub repository in the description. So feel free to use it. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I think I'm falling for you.